Hello YouTube, this is Data Mechanic and I'm back with another job. Today I'm doing a fuel pressure regulator on the 2004 Chevy Impala 3.4 cylinder. This is what the part should look like. This is off of a different car. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this one off. Which this is what you're changing right here. That's what you're changing. I'm going to remove this part first. This is just a little hole that's on top. You can just twist and pull until you get that up. Just be gentle, make sure you don't break anything. Twist first and pull. It was giving a little trouble, so a little trick that I use, kind of like what I do with the uh, radiator hoses, to get the pliers, gently grip it, and give it a couple of twists back and forth to kind of break it free. Then it should be able to come up easily after that, just like that. Now we need to get this hose out of the way. This hose is on top of the EGR valve. If you grip it right on the here and pull up, it will either pull off of the valve or pull the valve completely out. Which there it goes, the valve is completely out. So we can go ahead and set that hose out of the way. I kind of tuck it right behind this metal piece right here. This is where you lift the engine with. I tuck it right behind there. And now I can put get my wrench in here to grip this. This is this is where I'm going to be gripping on the part. I have a, I have a 15 16 wrench which is that's the size I'm going to need to grip the bottom of that part and turn counterclockwise and you hear it break and now it's loose see if I can use my hand to finish it if not I might be able to use the wrench it's loose enough so I'll be able to get that out by hand now also you're going to get a little fuel when you're taking these parts off so just be careful um, not to get it sprayed in your eye or anywhere like that even if you can't get it all the way out by hand it's okay you really just want to get it broken while it's up there because once you get it off it's going to be harder to break it unless you have two wrenches I'll show you that method as well but what I'm going to do now is just um, I'm going to remove this bolt here next all right, this is my setup. I have a T30. Um, as you can see, this was the bolt that I'm trying to remove. So, this is like a maybe a two and a half inch. Uh, I have on the T30, and it me so I can be right up on this bracket. I mean, you can always remove this bracket by removing these two bolts here, and this bracket will move out of your way. But my setup has me to where I don't have to do that. Um, I just go behind this hose here and put my T30 on. And also you will have to move the throttle in a position to where you can access it. Because normally the throttle is sitting up here. I had to manually push the throttle out of the way to get my wrench in there. Again, remember that there's pressure on these fuel lines. All right, I got the bolt out. Be careful not to drop it. Just say it out of the way. And now we can go ahead and start prying the uh, regulator off. I'm just coming in here and I'm going to try to pry between where I got the bolt out and against the regulator. And I can already feel it coming out. There's a bolt right here that's kind of hitting against it. 
if you want you can back that bolt out a little bit and it will give you clearance and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna back that bolt out probably like a you know a quarter of an inch and that should give me clearance to pull it all the way out okay with that bolt out of the way I was able to pry it off easily and now I can maneuver it around more so remember that that part that was loose without trying to get off with my hand now I can go ahead and access that better and get it off now all right now I was able to pull up on the part once I had that hex that nut on the bottom on the way off I was able to slowly pull up until they popped off now the problem with this was it was leaking past this o-ring so I'm going to go ahead and put a new o-ring but I have a replacement part that I'm going to put the o-ring on this one isn't going back in all right well that's another video in the books if you like the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. If there's anything I left out, let me know. Anything I could have done better, let me know as well. All feedback is welcome. So until next time, this is Data Mechanic. See you again in another video.